Hello once again and welcome to the 16th episode of Simply Electronics Basics. Today we're going to have a look at how to measure current using a multimeter. Make sure you check out the previous video where we learned how to measure resistance and continuity. Now to get started, I have a simple LED circuit set up on a breadboard and I want to measure the current that is flowing through the LED. The circuit simply consists of a 5 volt USB power supply with a 100 ohm series resistor. Now we could calculate the current that flows through this LED by calculating the current that flows through the resistor. Because this is a series circuit, the current flowing through the resistor is the same as the current flowing through the LED. So to calculate current, the equation is the current is equal to the voltage divided by the resistance. This resistor is 100 ohms and the voltage is 5 volts. This gives us a result of 20 milliamps or 0.02 amps. Now, if I want to verify that with a multimeter, I can do so. With this multimeter, you can see there are many different modes for measuring different values. So I have the black probe connected to the COM port where it should always be connected. And I have the red probe connected in the port that allows me to measure voltage, resistance and low current. Now, I calculated very briefly that there should be 20 milliamps across this LED. I can actually select the 20 milliamp range on this multimeter, but what if I am slightly over 20 milliamps? Let's say I'm getting 25 milliamps across this LED. To be safe, I'm gonna select the 200 milliamps range. If I want a more accurate measurement later and the result is under 20 milliamps, I can turn it to the 20 milliamp range and get a more accurate answer. Now, if you saw in the last video, when you're measuring resistance, you put the probes across the resistor. However, it is very different when you're measuring current in a circuit. When you want to measure current going through a component, you actually need to put the multimeter in series with the circuit. So instead of putting the multimeter in parallel across a circuit, it needs to be in series. So you can see I have a positive power cable coming from the power supply to the LED. So if I want to measure the current going through this LED, I need to connect the multimeter in series. I'm going to disconnect the wire from the LED and I'm going to insert another wire onto the positive pin of the LED. So just pretend this is all one cable. By adding this extra wire, all I have now done is created a break in the middle of that wire. This will now enable me to connect the multimeter in series with this circuit. And you can see I've connected the positive and negative probe between these two wires and therefore completed the circuit. So as you can see, this multimeter is now connected in series with the LED circuit. The LED is glowing and I have a measurement on the screen. It is measuring 20.3 milliamps, pretty much exactly what I calculated. With this particular multimeter, and most other multimeters, if I want to measure over 200 milliamps, I have to do two things. Firstly, I need to select the high amp range on a multimeter. With this multimeter, I can measure up to 10 amps DC current. It is very important when I want to measure high amperage on a multimeter, I use the dedicated port for measuring that kind of current. So I've taken my red probe away from the volts, resistance and milliamp range and now I need to connect it to the 10 amps DC port. It is important that you do this. If I try to send 10 amps through this port, I may destroy the multimeter, but most likely blow a fuse. In this case, I just want to measure the short circuit current from my power supply. I know it should be approximately one amp. So I've set my multimeter to the 10 amp range. All I now need to do is connect the probes in series with the power supply. I actually get a measurement here of 0.45 amps. Now I thought that this power supply was delivering around one amp. Okay, so thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with the latest videos from Simply Electronics. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and leave your comments below.